Hey everybody, Greg and Jenna here, breaking into your day, breaking into your Corona Tide day with a little feast, because today is the feast of St. Luke the Evangelist, and we wanted to keep that feast with you. So uh, Luke, as it turns out, wrote a good bit of the New Testament, I hear. Don't, don't preempt my, don't preempt, don't your preempt story. what I have to say. <laughs> He wrote Luke and Acts, and so I'm going to read from Acts uh, today, and then we're going to talk about it. So this is just the first few verses of the book of Acts. In the first book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning until the day when he was taken up to heaven, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So, Jenna. Tell me so, about St. Luke today. I have two fun, interesting facts about St. Luke, um, both of which I think speak to something bigger about his witness. Um, first, as Greg alluded to, uh, Luke wrote uh, the Gospel of Luke, uh, the Book of Acts of the Apostles, and therefore accounts for the, the author of 27.5% of the New Testament. Um, so a good chunk of the New Testament. Um, the other piece that's really interesting to know about St. Luke is that he is the only Gentile um, to contribute to writing scripture on um, the only sort of Gentile voice we have in all of scripture. Uh, and so I think together those sort of point to a unique witness that mm -hmm. Luke gives us. Yeah. Um, you know, we got four gospels, but Luke's the only one who really tells us the story uh, of the early church unfolding in Acts. Um, and I think, I think kind of the scope of that story um, is kind of what's unique to me about, about Luke, about yeah. his witness that we sort of see, uh, we see, Jesus, Jesus' message, Jesus' ministry spreading. Um, and, and even Acts sort of talked about that, right? Like from uh, Jerusalem out to Judea and Samaria to all the ends of the earth. So um, I love the concentric circle of Luke. What about you? What are you thinking about today? Um, well, I guess I was thinking about that uh, when I was in seminary, I often heard uh, professors say that the Gospels were really uh, resurrection accounts with a, with a prelude. You know, that the, the whole point was to tell the story of Christ crucified and risen. And then like, oh, well, here's the, here's the way we got there. So this is the buildup. And that's true. But what Luke also gives us is not that we uh, only go to Easter morning, but that that, that leads us somewhere, right? That, that this whole story of the Acts of the Apostles is that God's work is continuing uh, in us, through us, directing us, all of that stuff. And through us in the church, right? Yeah. Like that's important, not yeah, as yeah. individuals, but in the body of the church. Exactly, yeah, that um, that we're not simply remembering what had happened, but rather what is continuing to unfold uh, through God's power, through the Holy Spirit and all of that. So I think, you know, that's something that is unique among the gospel writers mm -hmm. and, uh, and pretty special. So kudos to Luke. Thanks, Luke. That's right. St. Luke prayed for us. And we're going to pray with Luke right now. Almighty God, who didst inspire thy servant Luke the physician to set forth in the gospel the love and healing power of thy son, graciously continue in thy church the like love and power to heal to the praise and glory of thy name. Through the same thy son Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Luke is the healer, right? Yep, the doctor, the physician, the healer, the so ox. Can we ask Luke to pray for crazy dogs that need some healing? Yeah, or plague, plague victims as well. <laughs> or, and now I just feel bad. Sorry. <laughs> I thought that's where you were going. I'm right with it. All right. Luke, uh, Luke can pray for healing of all kinds. That's right. Happy Feast of St. Luke, everybody. Have a great day. Bye, y'all.